Right. These are also some types of problems that will encounter with trigonometry. Where you've given a particular angle, you are given that sine 23 is equal to P. Write other ones in terms of that. So what is this saying to us? I've got to change all this such that I've got sine 23. Because at sine 23, as long as there's P in these problems, then you'll be sharp. Cos 113. Right. Let me look at that angle. Where is this angle 113? This is 0, this is 90, this is 180, this is 270, and this is 360. So when we talk of 113, it is in which quadrant? 113, this is above 90 but less than 180. Remember, all students take coffee or all stops to Chatsworth. Right, it is in this quadrant where only sign is positive in this quadrant. But it's Kuluma Mobala, it's Kuluma Kos. So how is Kos in this quadrant? It is negative. But it is important that I should do my reduction there. So this will be equals to cos into, right. I can either use 180 minus or 90 plus to give me 113. Let me check. If I use 180 minus, will I get 23 in one, in one way or the other? Or if I use 90, I think 90 will work better. If I say 90 plus 23, 23 comes out. What is 90 plus 23? What is 23, 90 plus 23? It will give me 113. So it, it will come out in that way. So if you say, because I express this in this form. Remember, I've got sign there. I've got cos here. So how do I get sign? The only way that I will get sign from cos is to have 90. So that gives me an idea where to go. So when I say, because this is the second quadrant, 90 plus, that's the only way that I will, I will get it. So 90 plus 23, I can see 23 coming out now. Right, let's look, at, let's look at the quadrant. 90 plus, stay here, play quadrant, it is the second quadrant, 90 plus. But we're dealing with cos. How is cos on the second quadrant? Cos is negative on the second quadrant. It's important that I realize that, that cos is negative on the second quadrant. At the same time, I'm dealing with 90 degrees. U90 will change this ratio. U90, I'm shinto cos, I'm in the band, I'm in the sign. I'm going to be sign, I'm going to be sign, I'm going to be cos, I'm going to be sign. Right, what do we have then? We're going to have minus sine 23. Right. This is the 23. Remember, whenever I've got sine 23, I can express it as P. So the final answer here will be equals to minus P. Then I've expressed cos 113 in terms of P. It is equals to minus P. Let's look at the second one. At times, it helps to have this small diagram when you do these problems. It might introduce the part that says using a diagram. We just Kill two birds with one stone. Look here. It's important that you should know the quadrant that you are going to use. Sine 23. In angle, it is an acute angle. Where, in which quadrant is 23? It is in the first quadrant. So the angle that I'm going to sketch here will be in the first quadrant. And the angle I'm dealing with is 23 degrees. Remember, these are trig ratios. They're always in the form of a fraction. When you say sine 23 is equal to P. We we'll simply say sine 23 is equal to P over 1. And I know the definition of sine. So, ka, towa. So, opposite over hypotenuse. So, this stands for opposite, this one stands for hypotenuse. So, dealing with this problem, I will have so opposite P, so ka, so opposite over hypotenuse. So, this is hypotenuse. But I don't have this. Uh, are adjacent. So it's important that I should find the third, the third side for me to be able to find uh, cos. Because when, when you're dealing with the cos 23, let's look at cos 23. What is cos? Ka, ka. Oh, it's here. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cos will need the adjacent. So I've got to calculate the value of that side first. How do I do it? Let's do this thing together. Adjacent, we know the Pythagoras theorem. It's in the Pythagoras theorem. It, this side squared is equal to this side squared plus this side squared. The one that I'm looking for, the adjacent. Let me just call it x for now, because it is along the x-axis. Let's do this thing together. We know that x squared plus p squared is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. Remember, we're looking for x. So our x squared is equal to 1 squared, which is 1, minus p squared, 
when we're look, we looking for x, it's plus or minus. So x, I'm not gonna have plus or minus because I know that the x's this side are positive. If this diagram was in this quadrant, I was gonna take the x that is negative. Now, because x squared, I've got to have plus or minus, but we know that the, this one is definitely positive, no minus. So the answer will be equal to the square root of one minus p squared. So this will be my adjacent. So my x is square root of one minus p squared. Right, then I come and do this after having my diagram. I understand the, the definition of cos and I do have the angle. This is my angle, cos 23. What is the definition of cos? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And what is adjacent in that case? So cos 23 degrees, after doing the sketch and getting that, it will be equal to ka, 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 adjacent. What is adjacent? Adjacent over hypotenuse. It is uh, square root of one minus p squared over hypotenuse, which is one, which eventually will be, give me the square root of one minus p squared as my solution. Right, that's how you, you go about doing this problem. Mathematics, imnandi, because it can show you different ways of doing the same thing. Let me show you the other one. If I'm not using the diagram and I'm looking for that, we know that the solution should be this one. Suppose I'm not using this diagram. I'm just looking at this. How would I go about doing it? I'm just thinking. I've got to introduce cos 23. How do I do it? I see the 23 here. But I know that if I've got, I remember that I'm redoing number two, I'm showing you the alternative way of dealing with it. If I've got cos 23, let me use cos squared 23 plus, I'm introducing the sine 23 now. Sine squared 23, it will give me what? What is cos squared theta plus sine squared theta? I use what I know. What is cos squared 23 plus sine squared 23? It will give me one. Remember, this is my guide. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, it is equal to one. So I know this for a fact. What is it that I'm looking for? I'm looking for cos 23. So what is it that I need to do here? Is make cos 23 the subject. Let's do this thing. I will have cos squared 23 is equals to one minus sine squared 23. If I want to make cos 23, I put a square root sign. So my cos 23 will then be equal to the square root of one minus sine squared 23. But I'm given that what is sine 23. Sine 23 is equal to P. So wherever I see sine 23, I push in P. So my cos 23 will be equal to the square root of one minus, what is sine 23? It is P. How is this sine 23? It is squared. So it will be P squared, which is exactly the same as this one. So whatever way, that is what I like about mathematics. To come to the same solution. Let's look at the third one now. Looking at the third one, it brings us to another section now again. Remember that I'm given, I'm given that sine 23 is equal to P. Ogushkuti, whatever I'm given, I must have sine 23. How can I get sine 23 from 46? What is 46? 46 or 23 open double. So it gives us two double angles. So it goes us to these types of angles. We call them double angles. The double angle rabbi is the double angle is sine. And I know how to spread it. So that's what I'm doing. So this is the same as sine 2 of 23. Or 23 rabbi comes to double angle. Now it is in this form now. It will have to go into that form. This then will be equals to, what is the double angle got sine? It will be two sine of an angle, sine 23, times cos of that angle, which is 23 in this case. Remember, we need to express that in terms of P. We know what is sine 23. So wherever we find sine 23, we've got to push in P then. All right, so this will be two times P times cos 23. Ibufuna number two, Ibufuna cos 23. Did I get it? Yes. What was the answer? This one. So whenever I see cos 23, I've got to push in this one because it will show me up now. So it's times square root of, instead of cos 23, we write whatever solution that you got there. In this case, it was one minus p squared. This is what, how, how you go about solving these problems. You can either use a diagram here, it will come in handy as well. Thank you. Thank you.